Hi everyone, my name is Julie Stigmeyer, and today I'm going to share with you an APA formatting tip on how to make a hanging indent on a reference page. So let's take a look at some unindented, undouble spaced material, and that'll help us to see how to set this up. So everything in these three references is set up correctly in terms of the author, the year, the titles, even the ita italics for the journal article, you know, all of these things are correct. So in another video, we'll talk about how to go from unformatted, completely unformatted uh, to APA formatting in terms of all of those elements. This video is focused only on spacing and indentation. So you can see here that this is in single space right now, and it needs to be double. And the other thing is we need to indicate on the side here, the left margin, that hanging indent. Hanging indent is the opposite of first line indentation, where a new paragraph begins and it's slightly indented, uh, half, half inch. So that's how we indicate in APA how your paragraphs begin. But on the reference page, it's a little bit different. So what we're going to do here is highlight everything that's those three references. And then I'm going to go to this feature called line spacing options. And here you can see that there's general, uh, there's indentation and spacing. So what I want to choose here is hanging indent, not first line, that would be for the body of the paper. But here I'm going to choose hanging. And then down here, I'll choose double because everything in an APA paper is double spaced. So now I'm going to click OK. And now I want to just point out how this, how this looks. So now you can see that the author's names are very obvious to the reader. It's also a lot easier to alphabetize when the author's names are formatted like this. And then all those second or third lines are indented a half inch. The reason why using this feature is better than using the tab key is because often when you use the tab, it doesn't work right. If I were to go say this was unformatted, let me go back and go to leadership quarterly. So say I go to my second line and I hit the tab key. Well, here's what happens is it actually indents both lines. So we don't want that. And also if you have tabs in your formatting in your references, sometimes if you add a piece of information or change your font size, then later on you're gonna have problems with there being you know, these random extra spaces in there. So instead, we're going to go back to that hanging indent, which we can use with that feature, line spacing options, and then under indentation, choose special. And that should get you on your way to having a correctly formatted reference page. Best wishes with that, and if you need any help, please get in touch.